as you can see, we are uh, sitting on the side of this dirty bank and we're looking at the bottom of a bottle here. I have no idea what we got here yet. It may be broken. Uh, it looks like just a plain old food jar. We dug this one a dozen times. But a whole bottle and we're way down in here in the sandy layer and uh, I've been hitting lots of shards and glass here so we'll probably get you right back as soon as digging up in there and this thing fell out. Nice. It says uh, Lactopitine, Lactopitine, New York Pharmaceutical Association. Definitely haven't found that one. Look at that, still got the rubber stopper. Or that's a, uh, that's what's left of a nasty rotten cork. Awesome. <laughs> See, there's another one in the hole up here. There's, oh yeah, we've seen this. So we got this, I don't know if this was like two or three times ago, but this is a, uh, I think it's a laxative. It's uh, from Paris. Yeah, this one looks a little bit cleaner than the one we got last time. All embossed right up. Sweet. We'll take it. All right, well, what else can we find up in here? We we're just uh, cutting back into this side bank to make sure we're not missing as anything as we progress up the hill. And uh, there's all kinds of things in here, so I will get you on the next one. Start working on this side and look at this thing. Looks like a license plate of some sort. Porcelain, definitely. I don't know what that says up here. Automobile register or something. That is awesome. Most of the paint is still looking really nice on this, so we'll soak that in a little CLR and hopefully that'll clean up. Awesome. Half a swipe. Just a slick med. Illinois uh, Glass Company. Huh. All right. Well, we'll keep pushing through here slowly into this layer because uh, it seems like there's stuff. Plate. All right, I'll get you back on the next. All right, well, it looks like a slick mad. Yeah, bummer. Hoping for pharmacy, but uh, we're down here in this early layer, so we will keep plugging. We'll get you on the next. There's another one. Oh, it's got some embossing. This one looks nice. This bank sounds like it's gonna go. Let's back up. It says Mead and Baker. <laughs> there goes that, I told ya. Uh, carbolic mouthwash. Richmond, Richmond VA. That's cool. Awesome. All right. 
so raked all through that tailings pile. Little spoon, glass bottle stopper, little tiny bottle. This uh, amber got these quite a few of these over the course of the year, and this one is a Grand Union Tea Company. Looks pretty clean. This one I thought was a slick. It's got a little H right in the corner there. To look that up and see what that is. Big top of a crock or butter churn or something. Man, that thing would have been sweet. All right, we're plugging away. We're losing light fast, so we're gonna dig fast. Still plugging away. And look at this beauty that popped out of here. There is a cause ink. New York. It's a fairly common bottle, uh, ink bottle, but it, uh, it's got a great look. Rarely see the uh, ink bottles with embossing on them. And the cause got their name right on there. Nice aqua blue. Certainly take that one. See that one back there? I can't tell what it is yet. It does look like another ink. Is that the same? Whoa! What are the chances of pulling two cause inks out of the exact same spot? Man, that one's a little. This one's got a little black in it. Still got some ink in there. I think that's still an aqua bottle. No, maybe it's clear. Cool. Well. Maybe there's another 20 of them in there. We've reached a pocket. I could see a mason lid right here. worth the uh, the effort full of water maybe some ammonia too who knows we'll stick that one over there but there's more there's just this trashy layer up here I think that's the glue back there Looky, looky, a blue ink. Nice. All right. We'll keep progressing. I still got one down there to get. We'll uh, keep chipping away. And we'll keep uh, looking at the top layer. Oh, what's there? There is a... Oakland Chemical Company, Dioxygen. Man, they love this stuff. There's so many of these bottles. All right, we'll keep plugging. Well, that 
that was just a food jar. But I see something else back there. Slick. Yep. And then there's this one. Another ammonia jar. A little tiny cap of something. Alright. Well, we'll keep trucking. Oh, there's a little baby head. The ear. The ear of a little baby head. Something up there. Oh, man. A tobacco pipe. Look at that. Just a bowl and a little piece of stem, but... Awesome. We don't mind finding those. All right, we'll see if there's any more up in there. There is the rest of the stem. Man, I don't know if that thing was whole before, but a little stand on the bottom knocked off too, but that's killer. Sweet. We'll take it. This one was almost inside of it. I wonder if they just tossed a whole bunch of dolls. same it's got more of a liquor bottle style head on it wow that thing is cool 
All right, let's see what the heck this other one is in here. I think it's just a, a wine. Well, I think we're going to call it on this. Look at this thing. There's a little mermaid all wrapped around this, like, what is that, a belt buckle? It is amazing. It's got to be brass or something. It's, uh, it's not rusted. It's got some rust on it from being in a rusty layer but that should clean right up perfect what an amazing piece wow well i cannot complain about today guys we uh we're gonna come back we're gonna do some digging tomorrow and i'm gonna check a new location out so uh We'll see if we get on a good layer. I'll certainly turn you on over there. But uh, we'll come back here and dig uh, for a couple hours, maybe tomorrow too. So, awesome. What an awesome day. things today. Look at that. Isn't that for uh, like making tea? A little tea baller or something? Some toothbrush. Spoon. We got on some great things today. What an awesome day. This thing came out. I lost the bale. Oh there it is right here. The bale. Oh. The bale was still attached. The lid's still here. Unfortunately, it's not an embossed mason. But I'll probably keep the lid anyway. It's got a cool lid on it. <laughs> 